everybody. Today I'm going to review Klein Tools brand new IR2000A infrared thermometer. Now this is an upgrade over their older IR2000 model and I've been using it for about a week and I really like the different features that they have built in. Now I've used infrared thermometers for a long time and I think they're one of the most useful tools that you know pretty much anybody can own because you can get an instant read of temperature for all different types of materials or surfaces. Now the first time I got one of these was after I had bought a car and my wife was following me back home but she said one of the wheels was smoking so she called me on the cell phone and I get out and I really didn't know which one was smoking so instead of taking some water and throwing it on the rotors I went around and I touched each one real fast with my fingers and when I got to the last one I heard something sizzle and that was my finger and basically I about burnt my fingerprint off because the caliper had locked up on the car. So if I had had an infrared thermometer with me at that time, I could have saved my finger and saved myself a lot of pain because I could have just shined it right on the rotor and seen which one was the problem. Now this does have some really neat features built into it. They have dual laser sighting. So if we just watch the door right about here, you're going to see two lasers. And when you pull the trigger, that is the area that it's actually taking the temperature reading of. So what this has is a 12 to 1 spot ratio. So for every 12 inches it is away from a surface, then that means the width of the area that it's measuring will increase by 1 inch. So if you're 12 inches away, the little spot is going to be 1 inch wide. And then if you're 2 feet away, it's going to be 2 inches wide. So it's very easy to figure out exactly what you're measuring. And let's say you are standing five feet back from a car and you aim it at the tire, you're not going to get an accurate reading because it's not only going to pick up the temperature of the rotor, but it's also going to pick up the temperature of the tire. So you really need to be close in many circumstances and that's going to save you a lot of time and hassle if you can see two different lasers as long as they're both touching the surface that you want to take the temperature read on, you know you're getting an accurate reading. Now in the package is going to be the IR2000A along with the batteries that it takes to operate it. They're going to have a K-type thermocoupler and then a carrying pouch. Now the carrying pouch is more than just something to keep in your tool bag because it does have that belt loop on the side. And if you're an HVAC tech or an electrician, you can put that right on your side and you know exactly where this is going to be. There's not going to be any hunting around through your tool bags or your truck for it. It's going to be right there when you need it. Now let's see some different examples of the IR2000A actually being used. Okay, if you're a mechanic or somebody just looking at buying a used vehicle, during your test drive you can actually test to see if the brakes are working correctly with an infrared thermometer. And what you'll do is measure the temperature of the rotors or the drums to ensure that both sides on either the front or the rear are roughly the same temperature. If you have one that's way too high or way too low, it means that that caliper or that wheel cylinder is sticking and you have a problem. So what I'm going to do now is test the front wheels and then the rear wheels to see if we have any problems with this vehicle. Okay, to start out we're going to test the passenger side front wheel and what we're going to do is hold this pretty close to the rotor so we get a very accurate reading. And you can see we're holding it on there. The temperature is ranging from about 165 to 170. So this came in at 166.5. Now let's try the driver's side. Okay, here's the driver's side front wheel. And you can see with this one, we're right there in the mid 150s up to 160. So these are activating at the exact same rate. Both of the front calipers are perfectly fine on this. Now let's test the backs. Okay, this is the rear driver wheel. We're shining this on the rotor. It's coming in at 132. And now we'll try the passenger side to see if there's any difference there. Okay, this is the rear passenger tire. We'll shine this on the rotor right near the caliper. It's coming in at 132, so it's almost exactly the same as the other side. That means that we don't have any problems with the caliper sticking on this vehicle. So by using the infrared thermometer, we were able to confirm that the brakes are working correctly and none of the calipers are sticking. To demonstrate the auto lock or auto scanning feature of the IR2000A, what I've done is set it up on a small tripod and I have it aimed right at the coil on an electric griddle. So what we're going to do is take the ambient temperature reading right now simply by pressing the trigger in and you'll see the two little laser dots are shining right on where the coil is. So what this does is make a circle and that is the area that it's actually scanning the temperature of. Right now it's 76.8 degrees 
And while the screen's lit up, we can press this button on the far right. That's going to put it on lock mode. So now it's continually scanning. And as I turn the electric griddle on, you're going to watch that temperature start to increase. So as you can see, it's increasing already because the electric griddle is on and it's continually scanning the new temperature readings. So let's zoom in on them now just to see how fast it's going to increase. And it's aimed right at roughly this area right here. I just turned this griddle on high, so I think high is about 450 degrees. But the problem with these electric griddles is the center of them, or the coil, will get extremely hot. And then the outside edges will be two or 300 degrees cooler. So it's very hard to cook food evenly on one of these because the temperature is not evenly distributed. But just looking at this, and you can see how it will just continually scan up and it shows the current temperature as well as the max temperature red. Now, if we turn the electric griddle off, it will stop increasing, and now it's gonna start dropping. So even though it's still scanning this area right here, you can see the temperature going back down, and then the max reading underneath is showing 330.4 degrees, and it's continually dropping because there's no electricity being applied to this now. So it's already down below 300 degrees and that will give you your two different temperature readings without having to hold anything. Now another thing that's included is this K-type thermocoupler. And what I'm gonna do is plug it directly in the side of the thermometer and then I'll show you how to turn it to probe mode and then what we'll do is stick this in the end of the ice water as well as in the end of the hot tea and we'll see the temperature difference. So what we'll do is take our probe and plug it right in the side of the infrared thermometer and then we're going to pull the trigger to activate it. Now that it's been activated, we're going to press the mode button until you can see it say probe on the bottom. And then that's going to give you the actual reading of the temperature at the end of the wire. So right now it's 70.3 degrees. But we'll take that wire and we're going to put it in the ice water and then you'll see the probe drop to 31.3 degrees because it's probably resting on an ice cube. We can take it directly out, place that in the hot tea, and then you can see it bump up to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is very accurate and it's very fast. And now I'm gonna show you how you can do dual temperature readings with the laser as well as the K-type thermocoupler at the same exact time. Okay, to show you how we can take a temperature reading with the infrared thermometer as well as that thermocoupler at the same exact time, first I'm going to pull the trigger to activate the unit. And what we'll see is the temperature inside the freezer. It looks like it, wherever it's shining is about 21 degrees. With the screen lit up, you're going to press the right button to keep it on lock. That means it's continually reading now. So if I place my hand in front of it, it's reading 80 degrees. If I move my hand, it's now reading the temperature in the rear of the freezer, which is 21 degrees. So we'll take our temperature thermocoupler, we're gonna plug that in, and then press the mode button, which will allow us to change it to probe mode. So when we get down to where it says probe mode, then it will be reading not only the temperature coming out of the front of the infrared thermometer, but it's also reading the temperature at the end of the thermocoupler. So to show you how well the two different temperature readings can work, this one is reading 68 degrees out here in the ambient air, and then once again, 21 degrees inside the freezer. But if we take a lighter and we heat up the end of that thermocoupler wire, you'll see it shoot up considerably, and it's up to 900 degrees, uh, 1142 degrees, just depending on where it is in the flame, up to uh, 1270 degrees. So it is reading not only the temperature at the end of the wire, but it's reading the temperature inside the freezer through that infrared portion at the same exact time. So now you've seen Klein Tools brand new IR2000A infrared thermometer for yourself. And the different features that they have built in with this really make it easy to use. It feels very good in your hand. And then let's say you need to use your hands to work on something. The little place in the bottom where you can screw it into a standard tripod will hold it on the location that you want to keep a temperature read on and you're going to be free to do your work. Now it does come with that little side pouch that has the belt loop included. So for an HVAC tap or an electrician, you can keep this right on your side. You're not going to be hunting through your tool bag for it. 
And overall, I really think it's a nice unit. I like the backlit display and the fact that it is so quick to read temperatures. And that dual laser sighting really makes it easy to see exactly what you're taking that temperature read on. Now, if you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.